been building all day long and I got the track finished well without the tubing I'm gonna put that in tomorrow so I added a, an additional support to this part that goes all the way up and back to the spiral lift and so this is a lot stronger to support this helix right here so it goes around twice and then it goes into the machine in there it might be a little bit hard to see but I'll try to get a better view of it yeah and then it goes to the front and it comes around the radial maze so there it is from there and then it goes into this flexi tube and there's a track down here it's kinda hard to see but it goes through the tower it ends up right here. So one thing to note is that this track is almost touching these elements like this one which almost touches it but it avoids it and same with the scissor arm back there that counterweight almost touches it but not quite so that's a good location for it. So that trampoline I was talking about this is going to lead right into it and so the trampoline will be right in here and it'll come out around here and go into the entrance so that's all I've gotten done for today so let's get some more views of it it has a nice bank to it the track this track doesn't really need banking and that's one of the reasons I wanted to use this design which is something I recently I came up with it like a couple days ago just for this purpose because on this helix I didn't have to bank it at all so that was pretty nice but I banked that helix back there because it actually slopes down quite a bit and so it'll be going pretty fast when it goes into there but I do like this track design and the nice thing about it is that the ball is only touching two rails at any time and so usually on this track it's on these two outer rails and I don't need to do guardrails on it and that's one of the main reasons I did it because I would have had to do these all the way down and I did, really didn't want to build that so instead I just have these rails acting as the guardrails so tomorrow I'll get the tubing on and get the trampoline done hopefully sometimes things come up and I don't get as much finished but we'll see one of the other things that I will need to do is support this because it's a little bit shaky and of course this track is supported by it so I really don't want that so I'll probably have the support that comes out and goes to the center of the machine which is probably the strongest point the tubing part of the track is finished here's what it looks like So like I said before, it has a nice banking to it, even though that does require me to use a lot of these hinge pieces. But it's not too big of a deal. Let's go around this side. And it goes into a flexi tube over here. And I mainly wanted that because this tower had nothing on it. Now it does. So it comes down here goes around and I already showed the track down in there I haven't done anything yet to that but I will later so let's put a ball in and see it go get it from different sides here just like the other track let's see not that one I almost made it go down the track I already showed It goes through there pretty fast. Since the main part of this track is the helix, let's get a view from this side. And 
and for now it just lands down there. And let's see. Let's do it again one more time. I can't really reach though, so I guess I'll just begin it from right here. So next I'll do the trampoline. I'm not really sure what type I'm going to use yet. I have this one from Bigger Ball Tower. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or the trampoline tower version. So I guess when I come back I'll show what I decided to use. I decided to do the Bigger Ball Tower trampoline mainly because I didn't want the rubber bands on the trampoline tower version to break and I've never seen one of these break so I mean this thing's been like that since what 2004 for the track underneath I decided to do chain on top of um, rods just so I wouldn't have to use a bunch of green rods to do all those little rows and it goes all the way back to there so if the trampoline did happen to somehow fail or have a hole in it, the ball would simply land back there and come out. So that's what I have going on to help against that. And we also have these walls on each side that will prevent the ball from going anywhere else. Another reason I really like this trampoline is because this ramp here is protecting this little area in here with that turning wheel. So if any ball falls down here, it won't hurt that. So I also really like that feature. So next I'll be finishing this track and sort of some cover around here so that it can't fly all the way out. Because it's going to come to about right here. I guess I'll try to drop it and see. Yeah. I don't know if that was on the camera, but it came out to about right here. It landed in the track, but I would feel a lot safer with a little cover to prevent it. And the track that's going to lead into it is right there. The eighth path is now finished, so basically that's the last path, but I still have some of the seventh path to finish. Anyways, here's the trampoline and the little basket that keeps it from flying out and hitting somebody. So let's just run it from here. Sometimes it goes back there, like that. And sometimes it just goes straight to the front. And hopefully that won't happen, but probably improve that somehow. So from this point on, after I get the seventh path finished, which is again back there, basically what I'll be doing after that is just making small improvements and um, then I'll be testing the ball machine and making small improvements during that time as well. So I'll probably film lots of those things that I do the time comes but spring break is over in about a, two days so that's basically it but the paths are almost finished let's see I'm trying to see if I can get a good view here's that track right here I guess I could try Okay, so maybe I could get a shot of the entire path going. Again, it's hard to see because it wraps around the whole ball machine. Yeah. And there's what it looks like from up above. This is inside of the machine, so nobody will see it like that. One thing I would like to get on camera, we all have to do this on a ball machine, is send all the balls down at once. 
And I'll try to film up close the trampoline because that'll be the most interesting part. If I can get down there in time, that is. And there they go. So that's about it for that. And I suppose when I come back I'll have path 7 finished and I'll start making small improvements.